London 1995 and the best chess players are in town again. Even though the Gang of Four, Kasparov, Kramnik, Ivanchuk and Anand are acknowledged as being the finest speed players in the world, it's surprising how they've dominated the Intel World Chess Grand Prix series since its inception in 1994. However, London 95 proved to be a mould breaker. Tony Mars from England was making his debut in the Grand Prix and was pitched straight in at the deep end in round one against last year's overall winner of the series, Vladimir Kramnik. Miles was Britain's first Grand Master and is still a fierce fighter on the tournament circuit. As we can see here, he also has a fierce dress sense. This victory was a perfect example of Michael Adams' style. He likes closed positions in which he's able to manoeuvre his pieces, patiently waiting for the right moment to break. With one win each, they were set for the blitz shootout, and as Piquet drew white, the onus was on him to win the game. Oh, Mickey has chosen black, so that means if it's a draw, he goes through. Now, he is so quick when he plays blitz. He's one of the best blitz players in England. He's, he's up there with the best of them. So, here we go. He really plays fast. Well, they're going to have to play fast, and they put their afterburners on in this very original position, yet both sides whipping off the moves, both sides castles. Well, I, I like Adam's structure. This looks good. That's three trying to chip away at that structure in a quick exchange. So, but he's looking pretty solid. At least his bishop is on g7, covering the king, so it's okay. And now this knight on g5, looking slightly strange. After h6, he can knock it back to h3. Has to go there, and it's been done. And g5 expanding on the right side of the board is Adams. Well, he had to prevent the knight coming into f4, so this looks like a good move. d5 by white. What a highly committal decision leaving some dark squares weak. But then again, he might be trying to look in at the, the e6 square. Now queen c2, eyeing the f5 pawn, and a quick knight b6. Knight b6, well that's really strange. I'd be looking to play the knight to c5 or e5, but b6, that's really odd. And now the piece is developing quickly, and the e-file been commanded by white for the moment. So Mickey ready to swing the rook across to, to e8. It's looking okay, but it, the only strange piece in black's position is the knight on b6. Slightly odd, but it can come back via c8 to e7. Not on such a great square there either. Maybe d7 and c5. That's where it wants to go. Oh, that's a good move. Knight e2, round to d4, and he's looking at the e6 square. That's a big time move. That's going to create problems. And Adams trying to close in on time. He gained a little bit in the last few moves, but that last maneuver, knight to e2, Looks fantastic. Maybe he's got to change the structure. Maybe he's got to play c5. And then if pawn takes, just recapture with the b pawn. Only problem is that he weakens a couple of, of pawns in his position, but Absolutely. it might have been necessary. Instead, he's played knight to h7. Is he prepared to actually capture the knight that drops in on d4? It's a big question right now. Could be. So he's offering an exchange of bishops here. He's trying to trade as many pieces as possible. And he's exchanging on the d line. I think what he wants to do is bring the knight round after rook e8, knight round to f8, so that would cover the e6 square, but Piquet's got to be happy Doesn't with this. Doesn't this lose hey, a pawn? What's he's the lost tactic? a pawn. Oh, no, he no, 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 no. The bishop on b2, very well calculated. The bishop on b2 changes the whole issue. He's going to play queen takes. So but now boy, risky stuff. Absolutely. So he's, he's just hanging on a thread here, Adams, and the knight can come back to f8 to guard the e6 square, but the f5 pawn weak, Piquet can play, for instance, bishop f1 to d3 and increase the pressure. This is looking good for white. And he's exchanging queen takes. He just has to make sure that there's no penetration. And he's played king f1 quickly. He's played king f1 is Piquet, and he's worried about the time. He has 324. He's kept, his, he's kept about a 40-second advantage on the clock, and he has a nice position. He's got to be feeling good about this, and he's got the pressure on him. Black thinking away. It's time going back again. So Adams, 230. Piquet, 324. He's played c5. He's changed the structure dramatically with c5. Well, and Piquet trying to decide what's better. I, I think he had to do that. If he'd waited, I think this, the weaknesses on e6 and f5 would have been, would have been too much. Well, some new weaknesses are fresh in the position on the hanging points d6 and c6. And maybe a move like c5 here might be played. Could be interesting to break open the position with c5. Piquet just calculating, is that necessary? But it looks kind of good. Instead, played a a4 and knight to b5. Well, this is just exploding now. The position, it still looks very good for white, this. A I'm, big exchange on b5. I'm very worried. This bishop ready to, to come in on the, on the light squares. And now Piquet ready with a5 and it's getting a pass pawn. 
Adam's trying to stay active with his queen. But certainly the center point for black has got to be a cause of concern after queen to e6 preparing to bring his knight to the d5 square and centralizing. Boy, this is very sharp. Very sharp indeed. Piquet has his outside pass pawn, but his king not looking so good. And now knight d5 and controlled with knight e1. Now, can he play the other knight into f6 to guard it? So Adams has chances against white's king, but Piquet has the long-term advantage of the outside pass pawn. And queen e2 often an exchange of queens because of his, his long-term advantage, but... Adams having none of it, and Piquet with only a 15 second advantage, closing in quickly. And now he's played b6 and a6. He sacrificed the pawn to get a pass pawn. This is, this is very dangerous indeed. There are so many pins that the queen could come in. The knight had to come back there to prevent queen c4. And now knight to e3. Isn't this, this is dropping material? Oh, this is so dangerous. Threatening though. knight f5. This is very dangerous for Adams. Can he play the pawn up to d5? Will that hold for a bit? And he's played the move d5, and that looks solid. a7 necessary, and now Queen what? c6. No, oh, no, then the f5 pawn hangs. This, oh, Adams, a lot of threats, and Adams with only 143 on his clock. Adams' position looking really shaky. He's got to guard the a pawn, and these pawns in the center of the board, d5 and f5, looking very shaky indeed. Knight c3, queen d3, threatening the knight and f5. Adams needing a move. He's played D4. Oh, but, but that opens play... up the line of the bishop. Ooh, that means that's a piece at any time. And knight F5 looks possible here. Knight F5 looks like a, a possible move. This, this must be good for Piquet. He has a time advantage. And he's stopping to think, though. This, yeah, he can take and his time. Rip. rip. Pawn's gone. Knight takes F5. And it looks like Piquet's on top. And he has a 20-second advantage on the clock. And in the driver's seat, this it's, is very powerful to threat Danny. A8 queen wins a piece. It looks nasty. In the meantime, Black's king is airy. Now, can he? Well, maybe he can rip the pawn off and just try and, try and get at White's king, but I don't like it. He's played king to f8 to avoid some checks. Yeah, knight takes that h6 but he, check, but... Piquet in total control here. He's this pawn on a7 just waiting. He doesn't need to, to take the piece immediately, and he has chances against White's king as Black's king as well. It looks like he could just play a8 queen. There are no checks in the long run. But he can't figure out, the big problem for Piquet is how to figure out getting his queen into the game. His queen has difficulty getting into the contest after he gets he wins the piece. And now he's stopping to think, and his time ticking away, and he's captured on h6. And now if queen h6, the queen comes in, queen f5 check, and, and then maybe queen c8. Check and captures and with captures. Check. Wow, what a move. And looking to play queen he's f5. He's taken. And he's taken anyway, and now here queen comes f5. queen f5. This check. looks too but, dangerous. But he only needs to get the knight off, and then he gets a, gets another queen. King e7, queen e5 check, and now he'd have to sacrifice on c7, and he's done it to regain his queen. But this is really weird. Material now even again. Adam seems to have survived. Queen g6. The question is, can he be mated? And But doesn't look possible. Queen b7, king d8. And now, and now Adam's ready with queen d3 check. So he's, he's running. This is superb. Adam's back in the game. Piquet's king is wide open. But f5 shut down the avenue. Queen h6 looking to get to the c1 square. So P queen check continuing. This, this still looks okay for Adams. He just needs a shot at Piquet's king. And how are the clock times? 48 seconds, Adams. 50 seconds, Piquet. And queen c1 is just too dangerous. That last maneuver by Piquet was not too accurate. Didn't look right. And I played queen, a, queen e5 check. And now he has to go for some kind of exchange, but it's not going to be good. And a draw is okay for Adams, so Piquet needs to win this. So and this is difficult. Pawn coming H to H4. Now four. queen in check, surely. Oh, but look at this. The exchange of queens. And now Adams oh, in the surely it must seat. be a draw. And oh, Adams is going to do it. Now he's, oh, he's pushing on. Look at this. Two pass pawns. The knight coming back, trying to figure out how to get into the position. A check. And now he's taking on F. Five check. This still. Oh, a it's lot a draw. Surely. This. Now oh. knight takes b3. Has he got enough time? Piquet can push the, the g pawn. Oh, he's trying, but a capture on g5. Oh, he can take on g5. It's a, it's a draw. It's a draw. It's a draw on endgame. There's nothing to play for. Adams surviving. Wow, a fantastic save by Adam. How did he do that by the skin of his teeth? This blitz game showed another of Adam's great strengths his tenacity and determination in defense. He was under pressure for most of the game, but just managed to scrape through. At the end, he sacrificed his knight to reach this completely drawn position. Problem is that Black's king cannot be forced out of the corner because the bishop is on a light square, on the wrong coloured square. And this is a theoretically drawn position. He destroyed Black's defences. Well, Anna now stopping to think, 
Dre are fighting mightily again. This guy just won't die. And he has almost no time in the clock. 324 oh, left. There's also, actually, you can go for queen h7, king f8, queen check, king up, and then you've got knight h7. That's, that's also possible. And then on rook d8. Rook d8, queen f6. It's not, it's not completely it's not over. It's not, it's not obvious. Okay, so, so the immediate knight h7 and into f6. Boy, this <laughs> guy Treyev, it looks as if he was totally dead. And now I'm not looking at the clock, not a good sign at all, considering that he has such a huge advantage. There's no reason to be looking at the clock now. He needs to just play a move. He's played d5, right. So if now rook takes d5, the f7 pawn is hanging. So the threat to just to take on e6. Oh, that's a fabulous move. And if he plays pawn takes, if he were to play pawn takes, then check in e6 looks looks deadly. I mean, that, that looks lethal. Okay, pawn takes, queen check, king across, pawn down to e6 while the whole position caving in. There's also another threat. Rook takes c4. c4. And it's over. He's also threatening. He's also threatening d6 and caging the king in. He is plenty. Of, he has to take that he's, pawn. He's got. He's, he's got to take the pawn. He's got it, so many moves now. D5. It's all over. Oh, that's a beautiful move. Fantastic. Oh, that's. It's all pure class move. That one. The whole position just caving in. Mm, and Drev now two thirty four left. Having to calculate all these moves with only two minutes on your clock. There's too much. Oh man, Anna, knowing that the kill is there. Ready and waiting to land the hammer blow in D5. What a beautiful move. Capping an excellently played game. And the Pentium is going crazy. Saying White has a 4.0 advantage in this position after that move. It is convinced. The computer is convinced anyway. And now he's just taking on, on D5. You've got to be umpteen different ways to, to kill the guy now. He's played Queen, Queen H7. Check. And now surely he moves. E6. Another he's check. Checked. King up. Another check. King back, and then e6. And then e Ooh, that's, that's just going to be ugly. Okay, so king back, and then surely e6. It and must now, be all over. Woo, e6 is just boom. What? I'd love to play that kind of move, boy. That's the kind of move you just glorify in playing. Look at this move. It's just so it's if, tremendous. If pawn takes, then captures on f7. King to the side, then queen mate. This is all mate. This is over. This is so done. You can expect resignation now. He's just... Pawn takes is just... Pawn takes, pawn takes, and if, if rook, rook takes, takes queen, queen takes. check, king across, knight king is mate, killed queen, by the knight and the queen. This is over. What a sterling performance by Anand in a must-win situation. <laughs> and Dreyev just looking at the clock, looking at the position. But his time, he's got 123 left. If there was any fight left in this position, at least the, the time would kill him, even if he had... If even if he had some moves, he would just lose on time here. So an overwhelming victory by Anand. It's just a question of time. The clock ticking down. Dreyev wanting to sit and analyze, but the clock will prove his undoing in the long run. In this case, in the short run. Uh, Only 59 seconds left. I mean, this is, this this is, is just, he's shaking his head. He's, I'm sure, just being wiped out like this has got to be... It's got to be strange. Just, just being crushed. He's blown off the board. Well, it's... I, the whole game, just superb from Anand. This is like Tyson McNeely. I mean, he just, just lined up on him and, and just beat him up. It's incredible. Superb. It's incredible. And he designed a magnificent performance by Anand. And we're on, we're on to the victory. Drev was right to resign. He's utterly lost here. If, for instance, pawn takes rook, then... Pawn takes pawn, check. It's probably the simplest win. If king f8, knight h7 mate. And rook takes pawn also leads to checkmate after queen takes rook, king d8, knight e6.